It's time for the GizWiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1997, recorded Thursday, July 18th, 2024. Back to you, Chad. This episode of the Gizwiz Diggity has three gadgets from the Holiday Gift Guide show. I also continue with my summer party gadgets, and this one has your back. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, our Gadget Day Connoisseur. Dick D. Bartolo, how are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good. Doing very good. It's excellent, excellent. I had a ferociously busy day yesterday. There are two events I love. One yeah. is the Holiday Gift Guide Show. Yes. And the other is Sweet Sweet. Yes. And for some bizarre reason, they were on the same day with several hours at the same time. <laughs> oh, no, they overlapped even? I was uh, hoping. Well, one might be the, a lunch, one might be a dinner. Yeah, you're right. Well, you know what? The, the gift guide, you had to pick 10 to noon or 4 to 6. Ah. But the two events are about 15 blocks apart. So it, it was easier to go to the later one and then it was uh, Wednesday, so it was matinee day. No way to get a cab. <laughs> so we had to walk like a mile. Ah! A and it was like 95 yesterday. It <laughs> was the longest walk ever. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did you get there and you're just drenched? Yes, and yes. Go, well, I'm going to need an porch. umbrella bag for my hat. Yes, we had an umbrella <laughs> because they were predicting a horrendous storm. Fortunately, the storm happened after I got home in time for Giz Fizz. Yeah. And actually, if, uh, if some of the people watching Giz Fizz was hearing the thunder in the bit background, it, it, was, it was amazing. Yikes. Anyway, one of the things... At the gift guide show, there are a lot of things there that are certainly non-gadgety. Uh, for example, you could give by gift cards. And since you are a camper, yeah. have you ever heard of Jellystone Park? J Jellystone? No, no, I've yeah. never heard of Jelly. Yeah. There Jellystone. are 78 of them. Wait, wh what? What? Uh, uh, There's more Jellystone parks than states? Yes, yes. Is and it like KOA, funny because, like Campground of America type of thing? You know, it, it seems to not be associated with them. It's Camp Jellystone. Huh. And yeah, I, that, I said, The chat where agrees. Is Chris P is saying Jellystone Park has a chain of campgrounds. Yeah, a lot. 78. Yes, from Yogi Bear. Yeah, I know and Yogi the, Bear for sure. Yes, yes. And when we went in, there was a Yogi Bear there. And Dennis said, I think he's wearing your costume. <laughs> because when Bill Hanna, one of the founders of uh, Hanna-Barbera, and Yogi Bear is one of their uh, yeah. uh, creations. Yeah. Uh, when he was on To Tell the Truth, um the Hanna Barbera people said, it, well, "If we send over a Yogi Bear costume, is there someone there who could wear it to pick Bill Hanna out?" And they said, eh, 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 eh. "You, me, me." So, uh, and yeah. I, I think I told the story. Bill Hanna, after the show, said, "You are so amazing. We're opening a new theme park. Why don't you come to the opening as Yogi?" And <laughs> that was. One of the most fun days I ever had, because uh, you probably know when you're in a costume. Yeah, it's like puppetry. Goes. You're a character. You can goof off, and yes, anything. Yeah, and, and people follow. Crowds follow you. It yes, was, yes. It was great. It was yes. great. Yes, that um, is so funny. 
Yeah, Scooter X just uh, shared their, look at that, Yogi Bears, Jellystone Parks. Check out all these locations. Yeah. It's, it's like, whoa, holy moly. I know, and, and uh, I said to the, to the person, I said, well, this is nothing I can do on my show. I said, but I will ask my co-host, who is a big camping fan, if he knows about this place. Wait, so they were just there just saying, hey, we exist. Just letting you know. We, we, you can give gift cards. Oh, gift they cards. They have gift cards. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. And, and, and it's not like a, it's like a camp you go to when they have cabins and you can stay a week yeah. and they have water slides and yoga. They, they, need, a, they need an influencer. I'll go to every camp across America. <laughs> there you go. I'll stay for a week and I'll record a little video about it. Yeah, there you go. There, there you, go. you go. There you go. Yeah. Um, that sounds cool. You know, yeah. I feel like way more places, this is connected because of the gift card, way more places need to offer gift cards. Like, and digital ones at that. There's so yes. many times I want to give a gift, a, a last minute gift, or just a gift to someone who's far away. And I just want the code, I want the email, I just, or, and I also, it would be awesome if it could be printed nicely. Sometimes you want, you know, a digital gift card option. Great. Awesome. You and know what? Uh, it's so funny. At one of these events years ago, I think there is a company called 1-800-GIFT-CARD. Mm. Um, and I believe they were there to get companies to offer gift cards. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 1-800-Flowers, yeah. but gift cards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So... Well, yeah, we just you, give how about out you? Um, gold, golden ideas on this show. You know, if you were an entrepreneur, you could just have another million dollar idea if you want to show show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, digital gift cards. We needed to happen. So that's really cool. So you got to go to the um, holiday. So what I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do three uh, gadgets from the gift show now. Next week, I'll do three gadgets from the toy fair. Uh, the uh, a sweet sweet, and then the following week I'll do three more uh, videos from the uh, gift guide show. So, did you use that Yogi Bear plush to like dry off? <laughs> no, I didn't even think about that. I wish I had thought of that. I wish I had thought of that. No, I figured. Well, you know what? I know a kid who would love this, so I didn't want to didn't want to dab myself with it. Yes, yes, yes. No. You're like, I can't. And you, anything thrilling for you this week? Let me think. Uh, not a ton. Uh, super duper thrilling. Um, yeah. I see uh, Taylor Swift drop by and gave you a t-shirt. That was yes, nice of her. Yes, and a signed CD. Mm -hmm. This is, I got a signed uh, Taylor Swift CD off of the website. So this is the wow. Yes, yes, tortured poet department signed CD. Wow. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. yeah. All right. Excited about that. Uh, <clears throat> Taylor Swift is a chart. I don't know. What, I, what do you call someone who's just like constantly caring? Hawk. I don't know. Like watching, worried about her getting the top charts, and she her album was a. About to not be rated number one, and she's trying to get to thirteen weeks as number. I think one she album. did, didn't she? Yes, I think she, I think she has now. Yeah, um, I think. So what? So one of the strategies that she did is I think she released a ton of signed albums. There was there was I think it was like you know I think someone did the calculation. It was like fifteen thousand signed albums or whatever oh my god and so it's a strategy because they're you're buying just the album right they just got me again i bought the album oh. again um oh again oh my course. god There's i gotta get fan. it signed it's a, it's a signed one uh, of course oh i have to god. buy the a real album you know i spent whatever the full price of the album is i don't even remember um but yeah, that's like one of the strategies to boost your numbers to uh, continue to stay number one in the charts. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
The other Wait. funny thing, if I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put a pin in it and just say I will predict this will happen if anyone cares, no one does. Uh, the album that was actually released digitally is the anthology album, and the album that's been out is only half. So uh, the anthology is a two, two. Oh, oh it's, it's like right. a two part. Okay. Um, and that has never been released on vinyl. So if she just wants to continue going, all she has to do is release uh, that on vinyl. It was never released on vinyl. It's the actual full tracks of all of them. It'd be a massive vinyl thing, but she could do that to continue. I mean, this is just my prediction of what she could do to continue to stay on the top. Okay, I will also make a prediction mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that if she does do that, mm -hmm. she will have at least one sale in Florida. Oh yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got to I got to complete the set. Um okay. Well, uh, I think that's what, what, Yeah, let's start. Jump let's into jump into, into the holiday gift guide. Hey, I'm here at Dog ID and I said, "How's business?" And she said, "It's shitty." <laughs> It doesn't mean it's bad. No, we're here showcasing our shitty kit. Um, <laughs> wow. It's the ultimate dog walking kit. <laughs> okay, and, and w what's in there? Does it come, I assume poop is optional. Oh, poop is optional, oh, okay. absolutely. Uh, okay. Yeah, so the shitty kit is um, it's a kit where you can put all your human essentials as well as your dog's essentials and business um, all in one kit to keep you hands-free on your walk. So you okay. can put your phone, wallet, keys, hand sanitizer here in these front pockets and also in the larger pocket. And then there's this doo-doo chamber inside. It's made out of silicone. And you can put a full poopy bag in here, seal it up, zip up the kit, and go about your walk. Um, if you're not near a garbage can, um, this is really convenient. So if you're on a hike, you're camping, or if you're in a suburban area where there just aren't a lot of uh, trash receptacles, it's really great because it's completely stink-free okay. and you don't have to carry the now, whole thing. Now, do you get some bags Absolutely. in the kit? Yeah, so okay. there's actually a built-in poopy bag dispenser oh, right oh, here. I, oh, I so see. you don't okay. have to have one of those clunky things on your on your leash which is really convenient. Oh, and I see in the back, this is, your belt goes through here? Yeah, so you can clip. clip. Um, you can wear it as a crossbody bag. It comes with that strap. Oh. Or you can wear it um, as a bum bag or a fanny pack. So it comes with multiple straps, a full roll of poopy bags, and the bag. And how much is it? It's $29.99. Mm -hmm. It's on dogid.com. Uh, I think it's very clever. I can't <laughs> wait to try it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, have, my, have Charlie try it. Yes. <laughs> I'm beyond doing it in the park. I stopped doing that like five years ago. <laughs> okay, we're here at Gifts of the Holidays, and this is fun for the pet owner or to give to a pet owner. Absolutely. As a gift. That is so funny. Uh, the the itty bag. That's yeah. great. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I see the use as a dog owner myself. Uh, if there is not a trash can nearby, and of course, many places require you to bag your dog's doo-doo, and yep. it's just well, nice New York to City. do. Huh? Say it again. I said all of New York City and every park, yep. everything has to be, yeah. Yep, all this around great uh, the neighborhood yep. I'm in, you know, it's the rules, but it's also just nice to I even had... I even had some friends that would, they had their own yard and they would do it in their own yard because they're just like, I just want to keep it clean. Why not? Every every go, pick it up. Um, so yeah, if uh, this uh, the doo-doo bag looked pretty substantial. It, uh, it? it seemed very well made and it's very clever that it comes with straps, can go on your belt, two different size straps, uh, the little place for the doggy bags to come out. Uh, I, think, I think it's a very clever idea. Yeah. Just don't mix up the pouches. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <clears throat> that is, that is I think it would be pretty obvious if, uh, if, you, if you mix them yeah. mix them up. But that's great. A nice yeah. purpose-built uh, doggy doo-doo container. <laughs> exactly. 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 <laughs> I like the price, too. I think $30, uh, good price. Uh, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. 
Um, okay, kind of a fun new gadget from Works, and they have it. They're very sporting about it. Here it is. I'm here at Works. You know, we have a lot of stuff from Works over the years. And Meg said we have a new misting fan, and I said. Oh, Meg, unless it does something very different, I've done a million misting fans. So we're going to give Meg a chance. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping to see me today. I really appreciate it. Okay. This is the brand new Works misting fan. Now, okay. for those of you who are familiar with Works, you know we have a regular battery-operated yep. fan that's yep. been out for a few years now. Right. Well, I want you to think about a couple of things. Think sports fields with kids playing. It's hot outside right now and they just want to cool off again the misting fan you okay. have said you've seen a number of them well <laughs> yes. here we go you can either run it on fan only or on mist and fan when okay. it's on the lowest setting it will last over seven hours when it's on the high setting it will last up to right around two hours okay it operates also on our 20 volt power share plant battery okay. platform battery right okay. Which, okay. by the way let's not forget that that battery can be used on over a hundred different works products okay and where's the water storage on the this? okay well here's the best part okay. so you take this up you can extend this here and say you have one of those paint buckets from Lowe's or Home Depot. Okay. You set this right on it. It locks in. You drop the tube right into the bucket, oh. which is right here, and it pulls the water for you, and it will send the mist out. Now, the mist, that fan will drop further. The mist will go as far out as almost 15 feet when it's on high. Wow. And then here's another great thing. Say you're sitting at the dock of a nice, clean, freshwater lake, and you don't have a bucket with you. You just take this and you drop it in the water and it will pull from there as well. Wow. So, but this is fantastic. Not only does it run on the battery though, if you wanted to run it near an outlet, it runs off of an AC cord too. So uh, it's absolutely uh, okay. fantastic. So this is very, very uh, different. <laughs> uh, oh, I just caught a trout. You just caught a trout. <laughs> Do I, not, the, <laughs> not recommended to be used as bait. <laughs> yes, exactly. And not the Hudson River. Oh, my God, oh, yeah, body part. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, and the retail price. And the retail price with the battery and the charger is $129.99. You can get it as a bear tool for, um, I want to say, $99.99 right now. Okay. If and you already have the if battery. If you already have the battery and the charger, right. yes. But it's available at works.com. It's also available at amazon.com, too. Perfect. I like this a lot. Well, I like it too. Thank you for stopping by. No problem. Nice to see you. <laughs> okay, they have nice stuff that works, and everything they have works. <laughs> That's the best I can do. <laughs> That's great. Uh, it's more expensive than I expected. Yes, it's a little. It's a little pricey. Yeah. But I love. I love the fact that uh, you can have unlimited water. Yeah. If you're like out in the backyard and you have a one of those five gallon buckets. Yeah, completely agree. Completely yeah. agree. It definitely also seemed like something that would be great if you were in like the construction industry. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. I like the fact a lot of fans don't have it where it you can also plug it in and run it from AC. That that's a big hill. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think I was a little bit shocked about the seven hours on low that seemed like a, a, a short amount of time. But I guess because it's using just the, the typical battery that it, you know, it doesn't have uh, integrated battery. It has a removable battery that you work with other works things. Yeah, I um, think uh, on their website, I think they're up to uh, 151 works gadgets that all work on the same on that battery, same battery platform yeah yeah so that's it's a, it's more I, originally i was like what it seems like you should do seven on high but then i realized <laughs> oh well i guess it's all the, the whole battery system yeah. um so not and also how fast is it to switch out the battery probably pretty fast um yeah so and, and yes if you're into the works world you probably have several yes. batteries sitting around that yes. you can use for uh, yes, outdoor I agree. Party. I think that's really cool. So there's a, this is the one with the battery. That, uh, she's yes, saying. exactly. And for some reason, uh, Amazon has the one without the battery. It's, it's, yeah, there's the one. Well, also, the it's sort of new because uh, there's just one rating. I believe it just came out very recently. Yeah, so. I love that bucket, and I love that the that the uh, the base 
will expand so that it can fit in the bucket like that. As you can stick yes, it in there, almost pull it out. almost any size bucket. Yeah. I like that. It, that's very cool. That, that is neat. And and it takes the the heaviest, most bulky part, and it kind of allows you to choose your poison. You know, like do you want a massive bucket? Do you want a small <laughs> yeah. little one? Do you want to put it in the lake? Do you yeah. want to throw it in an ice yeah. chest? Uh, yeah, the, the actual cool. device itself uh, weighs a little under five pounds. Yeah. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> It's on the bucket list for sure. So oh, Dan, that's Dan, very. Dan, oh Dan, my Dan. goodness, Dan. Okay, we have a very funny chat room. We do. We do. Uh, uh, okay, that's cool. Okay, it works. Our uh, final gadget for this week from the show is this one. Okay, I'm here at Clorox. Now I expected to see like a bunch of bottles of Clorox, but instead I'm seeing a machine, a gadget. And you, oh wait, the gadget is smoking. Yeah, we already started it. <laughs> oh my, oh my, so as we were walking up, Nicole was putting some water in it. So what does this do? Yeah. So this sanitizes uh, common household products like uh, reusable water bottles, reusable straws, your uh, cleaning sponge. And technically, you should have the lid on here. So let's let's use oh, our okay. imagination. Oh, okay. Okay. So this will contain the sanitizing steam. Uh, and it takes anywhere between 10 to 12, 13 minutes or so, depending on the, the amount of water you put in there, to do a full cycle. But it will uh, sanitize everything in here, cleaning up to 99.999% of bacteria. Wow. So excellent way to uh, reduce waste. So you can reuse items like that sponge. Uh, of course, everybody's using reusable water bottles now. You want to make sure that those are also safe. Uh, honestly, the options in here are endless. So think about pet products, kids' toys, or uh, cleaning items. You can sanitize all of those, and the Clorox steam sanitizer. And what's that retail for? It retails for forty dollars. Forty bucks. That is really great. And that's available now. It's available now okay. on Amazon and Costco.com. Perfect. Oh, can we? Can we? Get you oh, want yeah, you want a touch. Okay, now a it's going to be hot, so don't touch. burn yourself. I'm not going <laughs> to. Okay. Right. But yeah, so you there can you go. see the steam. All right. I I tell you what, I've seen a lot of stuff here at the show, but right now I am steamed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. <laughs> She's a good sport. That's oh, really she cool. Is, so she it's is. just water. It's Caloric's it, brand, but you don't need to it's, buy. Yes, exa exactly. Because when I first went there, I thought you're putting Clorox in here. It, it, it's just I because the same it's thing at first, bacteria that, free. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Is that it would be like a tablet or some extra thing, but no, it's just yeah. water. And it's kind of neat. If you have a lot of stuff, you can use the two tubes to, to make it into one large sanitizer. If you just have a couple of things, you just use the first hood and to clean like things like a sponge or your toothbrush. I like um, that. I think I it's, like that. It's, it's pretty good. And yeah. uh, she said it's mainly 12 to 13 minutes, depending on how much water you put in anywhere from uh, like an ounce and a quarter to like two and a half ounces. It looks like it doubles as a humidifier too. <laughs> oh, oh, does it? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It just I seems like that's basically it what it's doing. It's just steaming the yes, water, just exactly. boiling the water it, away. Exactly. Uh, no, that's great. That's a really nice contained way to sanitize I, using steam. And I guess, you know, it circulates it in there to get everything. Yeah. Um, Probably a little fan down in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had a few, I've had a few things that I really like. Like a, there was like a silicone scrubber thing that I had. And I was constantly like, I guess I throw this in the washing machine every time. Oh, it would have been okay. nice to, you know, know, sanitized, fully sanitized. That's great. Exactly. That's yeah. great. I think it's, uh, but I think will it's it work really with dumplings? Okay. I need, I need it to work with my steamed dumplings. Um, <laughs> oh, can you steam your dumplings Yeah, can I steam it? my dumplings in it? Uh, Me? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I They'll don't at least know. be sanitized. Yeah, that's right. You'd have the cleanest dumplings in the town. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I won't even be able to taste the flavor. It's the same size of way. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Okay, cool. So the Clorox two-tier electric steam sanitizer. That's neat. Yeah, and exactly. it looked at, she said 40, but on Amazon it was 50. Um, it was? Yeah. Uh, you know what? This may be an I'm logged out situation. Let me double check. Okay. 
Uh, uh, yes, that is the, you take ten dollars oh, off instantly when. Oh wait, I don't want a credit card. Wait, what? Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah. No, well, there you go. Anyway, <laughs> we're okay. just reporting it. It's just a fact. Uh, there you go. Oh, with that, let's move into. You know you don't need it, <laughs> but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. I completely forgot my gadget, but it is. What? The, I'm gonna get, <laughs> oh. No, I have it. I recorded a video oh. about it. I just left oh, it okay. over in the other room. So as the video is playing, I'm going to run and go grab it. Um, but uh, this is the continuation of the party summer fun time uh gadgets so uh i uh, got the gadget earlier and recorded a video so here it is hey dd so we are back at it with another backyard party summertime gadget if there's enough adjectives in there i hope so uh today we are taking a look at a gadget called the bareback and this is an applicator for uh lotions if you have a hard time reaching your back. Think of this as a back scratcher, but instead of a scratcher, you have a little, oh, it looks just like a paint roller, like you would get at Home Depot. And let me get it out of here. And this would obviously be for sunscreen, any type of, I'm obviously I'm gonna use it for sunscreen, uh, but it mentions you could use any type of lotion that you want. So it comes with a replacement and uh, this one with a plastic attachment. So you get two rollers, but this is actually like a quick slide attachment piece here. So you can slap it on there. This folds out to get maximum coverage. So obviously, normally I'd be like, uh, uh. But with this gadget, I should be able to get full coverage. Uh, we're gonna test it out. I brought some SPF with me um, and we're gonna see how well this uh, roller does. Um, so give me just a moment. Right before I test it out, I do wanna also point out, A, we're here at the pool, so we're gonna be testing it right here. Uh, but two is that they have other attachments. Now this only came with the foam roller attachment here, but you see this like spiky thing? That oh, looks God, like it'd that's be like a hurt. great back scratcher. So there are other attachments from this gadget. Okay, time to add some sunscreen. I'm not really gonna you know, like use my hand to rub that around. So we're just gonna hope that that kind of work on there <laughs> as I paint my back. <laughs> I need a mirror. See how this is working. Uh. Okay. It looks pretty good. I think I, I think I'm just about done. Oh, uh, you missed some. I think I can yeah. reach everywhere else. Hopefully. There you go. I'll have to check the video to see if it was if it's good <laughs> or not. Okay. After reviewing the video, yeah, I think that it actually did a pretty good job. Checking out the foam roller, it does feel like there might be a little dry spot only in one area but it definitely did a pretty good job of kind of moving the sunscreen everywhere. And then um, I had that one spot that eventually once I got, I was able to, uh, to snag. So definitely easier than trying to reach. And then when you're done, you can fold it up. You can pop off this and throw this like into a bag or whatever. And then uh, obviously uh, the foam roller is, you know, this will only just be sunscreen. So you can just uh, wash this off in the sink. That's pretty cool. Honestly, I kind of like it. And there we go. The the bear back. Um, now, is it a sh extendable or? It, so it's, it's just this foldable, but as it's folded down, you can still kind of use it folded. So, you know, this is half of oh, it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, you know, you can okay. still use it and then it's it clicks out. Oh, in, oh, oh, okay. Oh, longer, wow. All oh, right, that's good. Option. Yeah, and this is the true. one that I uh, put the lotion on. And yeah, it was just easy. Once I got home, running under the sink, the lotion comes out. It smells a little bit like coconut now, but <laughs> that's it. Um, not too, too expensive. 
I, it was more expensive than I, like, kind of, honestly, going back and looking at it, I was like, I didn't really spend $24 on that thing. Um, but yeah, it was 24 <laughs> bucks. Uh, and like it was mentioned in the instructions, there's lots of attachments. So I went to their little thing. You can see scratching, scrubbing attachments, lotion, shaving attachments. Sh shaving? Yeah. Dry brush, massage. They got all sorts of stuff. So I was, uh, I was unaware that there was, it was like a whole, well, they got a little wow. mini industry of, uh, of back scratching establishment. Um, so there you go. I actually, I really like it. It feels very solid. Like it, you know, you just kind of tell. This is good, good plastic. I like the click um, and uh, the roller. And, and if you're someone who really needs to make sure, uh, it'll work. Yeah, and, and I think everyone was saying in the chat room, hardest part is make sure you don't miss a spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a yeah. Beat the room. <laughs> um, have to do it in front of a giant mirror. Right. Like tooth yeah. Right, or just memorize, memorize where you yeah. go. You know, keep it, keep it in mind. Okay, I got that. I got over there. Uh, uh, put your phone back there and have a <laughs> monitor in front of you. There you go. Just, uh, just set it up, record it, and then watch the recording just like I did. There you go. Um, so Perfect. twenty twenty three dollars for the uh, the bare back lotion roller thingy. Uh, okay, well, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. All right, so last week uh, we talked about Rachel, Rachel Z's, uh, because I had done the uh, crayon comb, and she said that the, 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 the chalk comb, I was going to dye my mustache, and Rachel had sent in a photo saying that wax works better, and then a couple of days later she said, oh, I sent you a video, and Chad and I talked and th said, oh, you know what? Let's make it the warehouse video. And we did. And here it is. Here it is. Do, do, do. Hi, guys. It seems to Rachel here. Uh, you were talking about hair chocolate last week on the podcast. And then you started talking about, well, I mentioned hair wax and how much better it works. I sent a picture during the show hoping I get your attention of how my hair was that day. But uh, you didn't get it till today or didn't see it. Whatever. Anyway, so I thought I'd shoot a quick video because you did have a few concerns about the hair wax, that it looks messy. So I've been doing this for a long time. Um, so I'm doing this in the mirror, so this could be interesting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like hard. There we go. So that's kind of what it looks like in there. It and looks like face paint. Found, it oh does. Take a foam crafting brush. Oh, okay. Sure other brushes will do. Oh, yeah. And then... <laughs> There's a dog bark. Dog is unhappy. <laughs> and then you just brush it in. When it's wet, it helps it move through better. Otherwise, it's a little bit yeah, sticky. It's bright. So Boy, it works very it instantly. Quick. Oh, see, <laughs> it's covering pretty well. Um, I do currently have a semi-permanent purple in my hair. Uh, but I will use this. I started using this because I was using chalk and uh, it didn't work. Um, I have the naturally quite dark brown hair, but I have this one streak right here <laughs> that's, that's turned gray. And I am allergic to most hair products, including your bleaches and stuff that normally you need to do to get really good coverage of, of uh, when you have dark hair. So now I'm putting some purple in. Just kind of showing. That looks fun. Colors. That looks like a fun, like if I had now. kids, you know. Definitely like, the brush. Use yeah. the wax, stick it in. Versus the chalk, which is like. To my hair. So the chalk on my mustache took forever and it. You had a, a light color oh, so, purple. Uh, yeah, I was trying. This, this is stuff. a lot of coverage. Yeah. Back in 2018, I was sadness for Halloween. Sadness from inside out. 
and uh, I needed to make my hair blue. And uh, so I picked up this blue hair wax. Oh my god! And tried it out. So I right now I have red, purple, and blue. Those are the three that I generally switch between, depending on what it is. Um, let's see if you can see this. Yeah, definitely. Well, anyway, trust me, it's it's there. That shows up all right. Uh, yeah, so you got your streaks here. You can do. I generally just do it in this front area and then a little bit throughout just to make it look color more yeah. consistent. But I don't worry about getting my entire head because I'm only trying to cover up the gray part. Um, but yeah, it works great. It's about ten bucks for a little jar, but the jar lasts quite a long time. This is only my second red and second purple, I believe. This is my first blue that I was sadness for Halloween with, and <laughs> back in 2018, and it's it just empty. But so if you do uh, have it and it starts getting hard, just add a couple drops of water, and it'll work again. Oh. It'll turn up nicely. And uh, yeah, then you can color your hair temporarily. Oh, so this is one advantage is this is only one washout that's done versus your tempor semi-temporary hair dyes that are the ones that I normally use are like about four to six weeks. But they're also all natural. Well, I don't know if this is all natural. But anyway, it doesn't bother my asthma and that's all I care about. Yeah. And it's fun. I work as a graphic designer, so it's totally cool to have fun colored hair. And uh, yeah, the other thing is watch out if it's raining and you're wearing this because it will start to come out. So just, Oh no. And yeah. So you saw me put it on with the brush and then I just ran my fingers through my hair and I do have a little bit of color on my fingers, but it's not bad. I'll just wash them and they'll be fine. You can put it in with your fingers as well. It's just your hands are going to get a lot messier, but it washes right off. So, all right. I hope that answers any hair wax questions you might yeah. have. Yeah. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. That is so, that is, thank you for the demonstration. Yeah. That's great. And yeah. she said that, um, I asked what brand, she said almost all the, all the brands use the same photos. So she thinks almost all the brands are maybe from the same company. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, it looks like it's way cheaper. It looks like you can get six yeah, containers that. of it for like, Half Thirty off. bucks. And there's even would, it, yes, coupon. it would be a lot. Yeah, it would bring it down instead of ten. It would bring it down to five dollars. Look uh, at this. Join uh, Prime, and this item is twenty five bucks. Then eight percent. Yeah, you save a lot of money if you get a little. Yeah. I wonder if you get less per. Oh, that. Oh, you know, my guess is the same jars. Yeah. That's my guess. It, that it's just easy to ship the same. Well, yeah, there's thing. lots but of you, you, lots of brands, lots of options. I just clicked another random one. Yeah. Um, oh, and she said, if you notice that they almost all use the same photos, so yeah. that's why she she thinks no yeah. matter what brand you get, it's going to be the same product. Right. Right. That's a good, that was a great video. That's really cool. I feel like I wouldn't. I've bought the hair chalk before, and same thing. I wouldn't buy it ever again. I think I'd definitely try for wax if I want something not permanent at all. That like after the costume party, it's gone. That's what I need. So. Yeah, one wash out. Yeah, yeah. No, it's great. Yeah, it's great. That's great. Okay. So Rachel, Rachel, send me your address. You'll get a current issue of Mad Magazine. And we're looking for more videos, okay? Anything to do with a gadget, make a video, one to three minutes. You can be in it if you want, or you can just show the gadget. Just make sure we can see the gadget, hear your voice, and that it is shot in landscape format. Uh, put it up on YouTube. When you upload, there's a drop-down menu. You can click unlisted and that way only people with the URL will be able to see it and send that URL to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. And that might be our last available video or very close to the last video. So we need videos quickly. Anything to do with the gadget, old, new, love it, hate it, just do a video. Do a video. Now at gizwiz.tv. If it is a gadget, we will accept it. 
Uh, yes. And with that, let's move on to the letter. Our letter is from Linda Norman, who said, this showed up in my feed today. It's adjustable glasses, but bef- but there have been adjustable glasses before, but they looked comical. These look more like regular glasses. I'm tempted, but I spent uh. all my spare cash on Prime Day yesterday. <laughs> um, I'm curious to what you guys think. Huh. And she said the video, watch the video because the first it's only a 30 second video. And she said at the beginning, and I was pretty funny. Are you always looking for the right glasses to work, read messages, or finish <laughs> that passion project? Hey, what's up, 10 eyes? <laughs> there is another way. I just use one pair of glasses. I just turn the dials to change focus. I just use eye justers. Eye justers, the adjustable glasses. Visit eyejusters.com and learn more about our thirty-day free trial. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now, I also, I, I I read the copy, and someone said my eyes. I would need different focus for each eye, and it said each eye does have its own focus ring. So I have no idea. How these work? Uh, you know, what was the price again? I didn't even look. Uh, good question. Shop now. Uh, that is so tiny. Is that? It is tiny. <laughs> Second, let me. Sixty-six dollars. <laughs> you know that's. Wait, well, eighty-nine. They worked, it'd okay, be so the good. sixty-six is this tortoiseshell version. The stainless steel is a, is uh, ninety. Uh, I got some 50 options. Yeah. Now, we did something uh, she might have been referring to. They were called ad lens adjustable. And we did them like five years ago. Now, the ad lens website seems to be gone, but they're still available online. And they were also adjustable. Uh, but these, uh, she's right. These look more like. Regular glasses, the Ed Lens things were kind of thick and right. Um, <clears throat> I'm so like, confused on how it's working because yeah, I, I know. Uh, I I don't know exactly what it's doing. It almost looks like a Fresnel lens type situation where it's like every, as it shifts along, it adjusts the. I have no. Oh, there it is. You can adjust it from 0.5 to 4.0. Four, point oh. four. That's uh, four a time big magnification. Difference. Yeah, it is. That is a a wide range, huh? And I mean, they seem degrees. they seem reasonable. I don't I don't see I, you know they look slick. the The technology seems to be there. The uh, price is not that bad. No, and thirty day uh, return if you yeah. don't like them. I like that. Why? Why? Yeah, that's a good question. That's cool. I like well, it. Well, when you when you get money, Linda, why don't you do it? Yes, Linda. <laughs> send us send us a video. Or if no, anyone else that, uh, can't yeah, with all anybody the else temptations. In the chat room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they do look way better than the ad lens that uh, we had done several years ago. So I, I had also seen one that used like a bubble of water, but I don't think that that was. Um, I don't think that was like a commercial product yet. <laughs> I oh, that oh okay, okay. I don't know, but I don't know. I I can't remember if that was on the Gizwiz or something else, but. Oh uh, yeah, I don't. I don't remember that. Oh wait, Scooter X. No way. What is this, Scooter X? What is this? Adjustable. It says adjustable pencil extender. I'm so confused. What? I have no idea. Here, let me look at this. Let's look, let's investigate together. Six ninety nine. Close out all the pop ups. It looks so similar. Dual head. It the, the lens looks a little less refined. Rotate less the turnable 
the turnival to adjust the prescription and magnification to your exact requirements. See clearly with a convenient product. Okay, okay. Uh, here's an even different one. That one doesn't quite look as fancy. no. That I like that the looks dials on the that looks more like the ad lens uh, one from years ago. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, who knew? Yeah, yeah. The adjustable glasses market, and there's some options in AliExpress if you're if you're willing to hunt. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anything, I, I think that's it for the letter. I uh, want to say a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting our show. If you're a patron, thank you so much for your support and generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like the show, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. That's our Patreon page, or you can head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there is a big banner that will take you to our uh, Patreon page. There's also a tiny little link that'll take you to our PayPal page. Uh, speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live in just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Whenever we're live, just head on over to the website and it'll update with the live stream there. And uh, join the chat room, chat along with everybody. They're a fantastic group of folks there. And if you miss the live stream, don't worry. The previous episodes are there on our website or our YouTube page. By the way, reminder, uh, we should probably remind people, the GizFizz hosts on our YouTube page. If you wanna see previous GizFizz, you can go to the live tab of the YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash the is, uh, is our account there. Uh, head on over to gizwiz.biz, it's Diggity's e's website where he writes articles about all the gadgets that we cover on the show. So if you're ever needing a link back or a reminder about any of the gadgets that we covered, gizwiz.biz is a place. While you're there, play what the heck is it? The game show online. You gotta guess what this is with real prizes available. Uh, this is a this is a whole gadget, not just a piece or a part of the gadget. And uh, I've been needing one of these every time my uh, back feels a bit out of whack. <laughs> it's just a little spacer. It's uh, it's good for posture, and uh, make sure. Um, it was also a torture device back in the day. I have to say that too. Yeah, it's a uh, um, uh, crazy gadget. <laughs> I don't know. If you think you know what this is, get a guess in six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guess in on gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.